My name is John Lange. I'm the Fine Arts Director, and I'm pleased to welcome you to Stoughton High School's 2018 Winter Instrumental Concert. These students have been hard at work since September, and we are excited to share this music with you in our first big performance of the year. Before we begin, I would like to speak briefly about all of the parent volunteers who have been hard at work behind the scenes this year, making our music program run like a well-oiled machine. Our Music Parents Association in Stoughton is called Parents of Performing Students, or POPs. These parents have made commitments of time and money at whatever level is right for their families to ensure that every music student in Stoughton has excellent opportunities to perform and grow. Tonight we had several POPs parents assisting with ticketing and distributing programs. We had Sally Monaghan, Christina Carandang, Mary Bennett, Mark Taylor, Deb Howe, Paula Baptista, Amy Skelly, Bob Podesta, Sylvia Garza, and Debbie Podesta. In addition, Janie Leahy and Debbie Podesta put together tonight's concert programs, and Janice Parent, uh, who works as the Fine Arts Liaison in our office, uh, was hard at work making all of the copies and then stapling and folding every single one of those concert programs. Please give these parents and Janice Perrin a round of applause for all the great work they do. I urge every family here to consider becoming members of POPs. You can sign up this evening just by finding Amy Skelly and find, filling out a blank membership form. You can also go to our website, stoughtonfinearts.org, print out the membership form, and mail it in. You can become a POPs member for as little as $5, and when you donate at the $25 level, you will receive this year's official POPs magnet, which you can then proudly attach to your car or refrigerator. I would also like to thank Stoughton Media Access for videotaping this concert, which will be shown on local cable in the coming weeks. And finally, I would like to extend a special welcome to our superintendent of schools, Dr. Marguerite Rizzi, who is in attendance tonight for her final winter concert before her retirement. And Robin Muxian, the new town manager for Stoughton. Thank you so much for coming. And Dr. Rizzi, I imagine, may be joining us on stage a little later on, so stay tuned. Thank you all so much for your support and for your patience. And now, without further ado, will you please welcome the Stoughton High School Concert Band under the direction of Mr. Keith Kerbo.
Thank you very much. That was uh, Rough Riders, which is a uh, concert march by Carl King. The kids learned about the composers that compose for concert band uh, because it's not just something that we play songs by other people. People actually write for this particular ensemble, and that is the next one by a woman from Canada named Kate Nashimura. This is Chasing Sunlight. I'm going to acknowledge a couple of people in the back here. There's a trumpet solo uh, written in the uh, score, and it said there would be an audition, and then they came to me and said, Mr. Kerber, we split it up four different ways to make it fair, and they all played it really well. So we have Juan, Jalen, Celine, and Kimmy in the back playing that solo. Thank you for coming tonight. We have one more for you. Uh, the last thing I was going to do is I'm very proud of these kids. They did a, a lot of work. Uh, and so our last one is Thunder and Lightning, which was a huge undertaking uh, and a lot of fun for us. Thank you.
very much. Uh, and just a moment, we'll hear from the symphonic band. La Paris Fanfare from the Ballet La Paris, uh, usually performed as a brass ensemble piece, um, but this is a really, really cool arrangement for the entire symphonic band. You get a lot of fun colors, uh, very, very nice. So, uh, the second piece we're going to play for you this evening uh, is called October. It is by a composer named Eric Whitaker. He is way out on the west coast. Typically, he's known for his choral compositions. He actually writes a lot more choral music than he writes band music. But he does have a very small number of original works for band. One of them is entitled, Godzilla Eats Las Vegas. This is not that piece. This is October. Very different piece. Uh, this uses a lot of his uh, choral harmonizations, a lot of beautiful sounds. Uh, and we hope that you enjoy this. Uh, essentially tone poem uh, that tries to describe uh, the sense and feeling of what the month of October and the uh, season of autumn is like.
And to close out our little set here, uh, we're going to play a little bit of song from uh, the British Isles. This is a really fun piece. This piece has been in the band repertoire for uh, at least a hundred years, I would say. Uh, and these songs are much older than a hundred years old. These are the folk songs, um, some of them from, from various different territories in England, Scotland, and Wales. Uh, and uh, basically what happened was uh, this composer, his name is Rafe Vaughan Williams. It's not Ralph, it's Rafe. He's Welsh, so he's pronounced as Rafe. Uh, and he, he went out into the uh, countryside, found some uh, folk singers, people that had maybe never uh, been on a concert stage before. He brought some of the first ever phonographs out into uh, their farmlands, uh, their fields. He set them up, he started cranking, and he said, okay, sing. And he got them to sing uh, the folk songs that they knew. He collected them on those first phonographs, and he brought them back to the concert stage, arranged them, set them, for military bands so that they could be performed for the uh, cosmopolitan public uh, in the cities uh, and, and be shared with the entire world. Uh, so this is the Folk Song Suite by Rafe Von Williams.
front seat. And now we're going to do something crazy. We're going to put both bands on stage at the same time, and we're going to do that thing that you've all been waiting for. So these make an incredible little sound that when we all do it together, it sounds very much like sleigh bells. When you're trying to ring, you're going to go ching, 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 ching. Try that. Pretty close. You're not telling us to go away. You're helping us be with sleigh bells. And we need that for sleigh ride because that's what this is. Okay, very good. Keep your keys out. We need your help. We need your participation on the sleigh ride by Leroy Anderson. Now, uh, this evening, we are going to have a special guest conductor conduct sleigh ride. I'm very excited about this because it means I get to play the trumpet parts, which I have not done in many years. Uh, Dr. Rizzi, this is her last winter concert. Uh, and we, you know, this is a this is a pretty special thing here. I would say not many people get to conduct sleigh ride. Usually, just me. Um, but this is a this is a very special moment for us, uh, and one of many ways in which we are going to find ways of saying goodbye to Dr. Rizzi as she leaves us. I have to say, and I, I'm I'm going to fail at this because it's not possible. But the it, it's it, I just can't possibly even overstate how important Dr. Rizzi has been to our programs, our music programs, our arts programs in the Stoughton schools. She has given us so much support uh, over her 12 years here, uh, for longer than I've been here, for longer than most of our music uh, faculty members have been here. She's been supporting us. There are so many things that I, I'm quite sure we would not be able uh, to, to point out and say, look at that. Uh, if, if Dr. Rizzi had not been there giving us the support, having a symphonic band, a symphonic choir, having the kind of drama program that we've put together, um, having the kinds of instruments that we have, from the uh, double bass to the contrabass clarinet to the chimes way in the back, and we have some special instruments on stage, and this allows us to have a really special uh, uh, program here. Every single student in our program uh, has a uniform as either a concert gown or a tuxedo. All of these things were made possible uh, because Dr. Rizzi and, uh, and other administrators, but, but I would say especially, in particular, Dr. Rizzi has really made us a priority for her uh, and, and made sure that we got the support that we needed to do the things that we have done. So please give Dr. Rizzi a huge thank you. So excited to do this, so uh, let's give it a roll, see what happens. I'll be in the back.
you know, the way that that was uh, back of politics, but the Gordon Goodwin Big Fat Band. Uh, and we had a little uh, Soli out here with Allie, Randall, Deepak, and Maggie. So we're shooting all of that show. There you go. that one pretty much by themselves. I would sometimes go take a break while they rehearsed that, so they did an excellent job. Uh, next is Boogie Stop Shuffle, which is a song by uh, Charles Mingus, a uh, great bass player, or our great bass player, Hassan.
you. We had an improvised drum solo from John Finn in the back. An improvised bass solo by Hassan. And then we had a little solo line with Deepak, Maggie, and Jess. So, there's one more song left, and they asked me to play it every year, and so we oblige. And I hope that you enjoy Charlie Brown. And uh, thank you for coming tonight. Thank you so much. This will be the last one of the evening. You've been a great audience, and we will see you at the spring concert. Or actually, the concert band uh, and the eighth grade band will perform their pajama concert uh, on the last day of February, February 28th, uh, and hopefully we will see you there.
the Tuesday Giant Fan. Thank you very much for coming tonight, everybody, and we will see you next time.